Hello and welcome to Droix. Today we are checking out the IA Space front end software made for the IA Neo and IA Neo Pro Windows gaming handheld. If you have an IA Neo or Pro, you can download the IA Space installer via the home page in the description. Once the software has been installed and loaded, you are presented with the home screen, which is essentially full of shortcuts for everything. From here, you can launch recently played games installed on the Neo, or browse the entire collection on the Games tab. The third tab is the Assistant, where you can find useful information for your Neo. The usage status provides information on the hardware, including CPU, GPU and RAM usage, and how fast the fan is spinning and so on. Hardware information provides an overview of the installed hardware if you want it for reference. There are also some configuration options for adding shortcuts. Going back to the home screen, there are some system tweak shortcuts on the right. From here, you can optimise the system, which probably clears out any unneeded software from the RAM. The next icon is for the fan, switching between lower and higher speed. The middle option is perhaps the most useful. It allows you to easily change the Neo's TDP without having to use third party software. So a higher TDP for gaming uses more battery power, but you will have faster hardware performance. It is great to have TDP switching built into the software and it makes changing it effortless. Top marks here. The bottom row of shortcuts allows you to quickly change the screen resolution and check for software updates. Game management is quite easily performed and you can automatically scan or manually add your own games. You can also download box art, background and game information for each game which can be viewed on the game's browser. On the settings page you can configure various options including the language and account settings. At any time, you can press the keyboard button to bring up the quick toolbar. From here, you can change a number of settings including the fan speed, screen resolution and TDP. It's a very useful feature and saves having to switch between your game and the main app for example. We like the iSpace software a lot. It makes the Aya Neo feel more like a gaming handheld than a Windows handheld. It has everything you need to configure the Neo with a few button taps. You can download the iSpace software via the link in the video description. Thanks for watching, we hope you have found the video useful. Please subscribe to keep up to date with our latest videos as it really helps to grow this YouTube channel. We hope to see you back in the next one.